that's when we saw her lying on the floor. She had blood all around her. And I had no idea what had happened. Heather Barnett's daughter, Caitlin, on discovering the body of her mother. The 48-year-old seamstress brutally murdered in a flat in Bournemouth in October 2002, bludgeoned into death with a hammer and then mutilated. Caitlin's brother, Terry, alerting the police to the horror before them. What's happened? <laughs> My mum's just been murdered. This is not a joke. She's lying in the bathroom on her back. And what's happened to her? She's bloody had her pieces cut off her, for God's sake. Heather Barnard murdered by her neighbour, Danilo Restivo. The Italian national leaving a clump of someone else's hair in her hands in a carefully planned ritual killing. Heather's brother Ben says despite a sense of relief, the conviction only means so much for the family. There's two children still don't have a mother. You know, this isn't going to go away just because the person that committed this has gone to prison. It doesn't really change anything in the long term. It's not going to bring her back. Her sister Denise said that Heather's life eclipsed by the manner of her death. All the other years when she was a great mum, she was a, a, a loving sister, she was a great member of the community, uh, are lost behind that last awful few minutes, in fact. Restivo is expected to be extradited back to Italy, where he's wanted over the murder of a teenager there. Detectives highlighting striking similarities with the death of 16-year-old Elisa Claps in Restivo's hometown of Potenza in 1993.